Philadelphia Phillies outfielder Kyle Schwarber has come a long way from singing in his high school choir to being a star MLB slugger and World Series winner and signing multi-million bumper contracts. But he's way more than that bulky slugger you see hitting home runs on the diamond. In this video, we'll be giving you a behind-the-scenes look at everything you want to know about Kyle Schwarber, his lifestyle, earnings, and gorgeous wife. You see that Kyle's all built up, standing at 5 feet 10, weighing 240 pounds, and smacking the baseball so hard it could get a peak of Mars. You definitely want to know what type of childhood built a man so tough, yeah? Kyle was born on March 5, 1993, in Middleton, Ohio, to his mother, Donna Schwarber, and his father, Greg Schwarber. You can tell a bit of his toughness must have come from his dad, a retired police chief who served in the Ohio Police Department for 32 years. And he wasn't just any random cop, nah. He once single-handedly stopped a three-man robbery after a victim shouting prevented him from being able to dispatch his location. Now that's a tough cop. Kyle's mom was most likely the calm one, though, being a nurse. Kyle grew up with his parents and four siblings, his brother, Jamin, and his three sisters, Alicia, Lindsay, and Kelly. Have you ever heard of Thomas Schwarber? Probably not unless you were a big fan of the minor league back in the early 90s. While Thomas Schwarber is Kyle's uncle, who played college baseball at Ohio State, was a professional baseball player for the Detroit Tigers in the minor league for three seasons between 1991 and 1993. Yes, his uncle didn't quite make it in the baseball world by Kyle, but it's fair to say the baseball talent must have run to an extent in the family. Kyle attended Middleton High School, and during his time in high school, he was a star athlete, but not just in baseball. He was the linebacker for Middleton High School's football team. And not just any linebacker, he was so good of a football player that he had a number of Division I football programs trying to recruit him. Had he grown more than six feet before his graduation, who knows whether his name would be in conversations like the likes of Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers. One of his football career highlights was the iconic game in which he played against future NFL iconic wide receiver Braxton Miller, a student of Wayne High School at the time. Schwarber's dodginess, which we've grown to admire in the MLB, was on display in that game when he disregarded his coach's instructions and improvised his own plays although they lost the game. He eventually chose the call of pro baseball, though, as he was equally as good a catcher as a linebacker with a high school record of batting 408, 18 home runs, and 103 RBIs all under four years. We are all happy he chose the diamond. Brace yourself for some wholesome content because we're pretty sure you didn't see this coming. Kyle must have been really busy shuffling education, baseball, and football all at the same time. But somehow, he found time for other extracurricular activities. Not just any activity, but singing. That's right, he was not only a freestyle singer as the class cool kid, but also a member of his school's show choir. Did you know he also had his own high school musical? It might be too hard for you to picture our beloved Schwarbs doing an acapella track, yeah? So we'll help you with that. After high school, Kyle enrolled at Indiana University to play college baseball at the Indiana Hoosiers, and his ability didn't stop skyrocketing. In his freshman year, he was named Freshman All-American by Louisville Slugger and Collegiate Baseball newspaper after a splendid season. His second year was even way better. He was so good that he was named First Team All-American by the NCBWA with 18 home runs in 61 games. His sophomore season also earned him a call-up to the United States Collegiate National Team during the following summer. During his 2012 college offseason, he played for the Wareham Gatemen of the Cape Cod Baseball League. Once again, he was outstanding. So outstanding that he was inducted into the CCBL Hall of Fame in 2019. Surely you're wondering. Did he go to university to study singing and musicals? Definitely not. Kyle majored in recreational sports management. After graduating from college, Schwarber was drafted by the Chicago Cubs in the first round, fourth overall in the 2014 MLB draft. It was no surprise to anyone given that a lot of pre-draft scouts had given positive reports about him, with some even comparing him to Hall of Famer Jeff Bagwell and Phillies legend Matt Stairs. 
He might not be on the level of these two yet, but with time he might just become an MLB Hall of Famer himself. Making his pro debut three days after the draft against the Boise Hawks, Kyle made progress through the Cubs' lower division games like the Class A Midwest League and the Class A Advanced Florida State League, hitting 18 home runs in 72 games in the two leagues. He also spent time with the AA Tennessee Smokies of the Southern League where he won MVP in the All-Star Futures game, so it was only a matter of time before he made his much-anticipated MLB debut. He started the first game despite not having an MLB appearance in months and hit a double off the right field wall in the fourth inning of Game 1, becoming the first Major League position player to get the first hit of the season at the World Series. With his contribution of one double, two RBI, one stolen base, and a batting average of 412 during the World Series, Schwarber was a major part of the team that guided the Cubs to their first World Series in 108 years, and he was just 24 years old. Since then, Schwarber has proved himself in every team he's played for, from the Cubs to his spells with the Washington Nationals and the Boston Red Sox, and later the Philadelphia Phillies. He currently holds records for the most home runs hit in a single postseason by a young Cubs player. The most home runs hit in any month in Nationals franchise history with his five multi-homer games for the Nationals in 2020. The grandest slams in a postseason series in MLB history, which he achieved for the Red Sox in 2021, and some other franchise records for the Phillies. He's won multiple National League Player of the Month awards, is a two-time MLB All-Star, World Series champion, National League home run leader for the 2022 season, with a career record of 233 batting average, 199 home runs, and 444 runs batted in. Not bad for a choir boy. As his performances on the diamond keep on developing, so does his contract and earnings portfolio. His draft in 2014 for the Cubs saw him sign over $3 million, one-year contract before a $507,500 deal for 2015, slightly increased $522,000 for 2016 before a more lucrative $3 million $390,000 one-year deal before his short spell with the Washington Nationals, after being non-tendered by the Chicago Cubs on a $7 million for a one-year deal. His buyout as a free agent in 2021 by the Boston Red Sox was a $3 million contract, which was increased to a $4.5 million deal when he was retained before the real money came in 2022. The Philadelphia Phillies offered him a $79 million over four years contract, a deal too sweet to pass on that makes him third highest paid among left fielders, fifth in the entire Phillies team, and 43rd in the MLB. Even off the diamond, Big Schwabs still makes a lot of dough with his numerous endorsements and sponsorship deals with top companies like Hulu, Wilson, Bonnie Bands for his headbands, Factor Meals, Mr. Peanut, Mizzen in Maine, Uno Hour, Louisville Slugger, and New Era. This amount of revenue didn't come from doing nothing, of course. Schwarber is known for his mammoth home runs, sending balls flying everywhere from outside the park to hitting parked cars, and most people attribute it to his physicality, but it didn't come cheaply. After a disappointing 2017 season with the Cubs where he dealt with a busted knee, was dropped to minor leagues multiple times, Schwarber returned for the 2018 season with his new look, becoming the talk of the baseball world. He lost 30 pounds over the break after employing a very strict workout and diet regimen. He visited the gym regularly, and with the help of his then-girlfriend, he switched up his diet and got into awesome shape. Of course, he beat down the hype when asked what his new shape will change in his game, saying, I don't think there'll be much. Being whatever I am isn't going to help me out and hit .570 home runs. I've got to go out and perform. Still, at the end of the day, it's going to help with things I can control. Being quicker, more explosive, those are things I can control. And working on my swing, everything like that. It's trusting your preparation and taking it into the game. But fast forward to four years and we know it did change a lot about his performance, contributing to the star outfielder we all know and love. We love Schwarbs, of course, but do you know who loves him more? His beautiful wife, Paige Hartman. Kyle and Paige have been together since their high school days in Middleton High, even attending prom together. 
She attended the University of Cincinnati and also attended a beauty school, Paul Mitchell Beauty School, where she graduated as a beautician in cosmetology, skin, and face beautification, later setting up her own beauty studio, which she manages. Despite her own job, she is known to be a big fan of her husband, always showing up in the stands to support him. Schwarber and Paige announced their engagement before Christmas in 2018, got married about a year later, in a blissful ceremony in December 2019 which was attended by both former and current Cubs players like John Lackey, Jake Arrieta, John Lester, and Kyle Hendricks. Couple welcomed their first child in March 2022, cute baby boy named Cade. Kyle's dad is a decorated police chief. The experience has helped Kyle appreciate the job of first responders and security officers, which led to the establishment of Schwarber's Neighborhood Heroes, fundraising organization that helps to recognize and honor first responders by visiting local agencies to provide resources and gratitude, as well as hosting annual block parties to make an impact in the lives of local heroes. If you enjoyed this video about Kyle Schwarber's lifestyle, that's not what you think. Check out the video on the screen now, or the one we posted below, because we're sure you'll like that one too. See you there.